guys, it's me, Candace Sung. I'm excited to be wrapping up my EDUC 630 course, which is Educational Technology course. I've learned lots of great new educational technology and tools, and I'm excited to share some of those tools that I've learned with you guys today. So some of the technology tools and apps that I learned about in my course and that I'm going to talk about with you today is Symbaloo, Apple Accessibility Features, Powtoon, WebQuest, Kahoot, Loki, and Google Suite. So Symbaloo, I never heard of it before this course. Um, so basically Symbaloo is a web-based social bookmarking tool. So you can make a Symbaloo path and have different links and resources that you post to your Symbaloo and it really makes it easy to have all of your online resources organized and linked together in one place. And you can group and organize your related resources together by giving them the same color tiles. So it's really easy because I used to just click add to bookmark, add to bookmark, a whole bunch of links and then all of a sudden they're so hard to find. With Symbolo, you have one site, one place you go, and you add all your bookmarks there, and you have a little picture or a little information on the specific link, so it makes it easier to remember what your bookmarks are. Um, so how do I use Symbolo? I, in my classroom here, you can see the Symbolo that I created um, for my class. Um, I was able to provide my students one link that gave them all the resources that they might need. So my lime green tiles over here, I have the school calendar, I have the school website, the campus map, um, their single sign-on portal, and the bell schedule. So those are all like my frequently asked questions that I'm always getting. I can just say, go look at your green tiles. I also post links to resources that they might need. So the yellow tiles over here are resources and links that might help them for their English class. The purple tiles will help with math. I have um, transition app, um, skills. These apps will help with that. Um, in my class, here's my grade book, where they go to do their extra work, how they can check their grades, where they do their grade check. It's really just a great place to have all your information condensed into one place. So Apple has a lot of accessibility tools. Um, they offer lots of features. Apple said that one in seven people around the world has some form of disability, whether that be physical disability involving vision, hearing, or loss of physical motor skills, or even a hidden invisible disability. So Apple really did a great job of creating features to help people with disabilities. Um, and there's accessibility features for vision, um, interactivity, hearing, and more. Um, so what do I think about this? Well, everyone should have equal access to technology, and Apple's doing a great job of that. Um, they create accommodations for people, and these accessibility features benefit more than just people with disabilities. Some of the features that I like the most is Zoom, um, where you can zoom in on a certain part of the text that's being displayed on your Apple device. Um, larger text is a common one. And then FaceTime was originally like an accessibility feature. I have a good friend who his parents are deaf. So before FaceTime, he couldn't really talk with his parents on the phone. Now he can FaceTime and he can use sign language to easily communicate with them. So Powtoon, this was probably my favorite um, educational technology tool that I learned about in the class. So Powtoon is an animation software that enables users to make creative and engaging videos. Software is easy to use and is equipped with characters, props, backgrounds, music, and more that makes the video options endless. So I really loved Powtoon because it gave someone like me, who I'm not the most creative person, I'm not very artistic, it gave me the opportunity to make a high quality video for my class. Um, and it was so easy to use and very user friendly. 
So for me, um, I always see those whiteboard like how to and informational videos and I always said, wow, that person's got to be an amazing artist. This is such a great video. Well, I can make one of those kind of videos myself in Powtoon, which is awesome. So I can't wait to use it more within my classroom um, to teach my students different skills. So a web quest, this was sort of an interesting thing. We had to do a web quest in my class and I wasn't the biggest fan of it. So what a web quest is, it's an inquiry or oriented activity in which most of the information used by learners is drawn from the web. So it's all pretty much all online. Um, web quests are a way for students to get information and they're provided with pre-selected um, resources and sites online to use to complete and search for information to complete their assigned tasks. Um, I didn't like it because I thought it was very limiting. I wanted to know more, but I was restricted to these certain like search engines and web portals to use to complete my assignment. Um, but on the other hand, it would be good for someone that doesn't have the best research skills that having a sea of information to choose from might be overwhelming. So I could see the benefits to web quests as well. Um, so Coot, this is a really fun one. I use it with my class all the time. My students request that I do it. They love it. It's a game-based learning platform that teachers and students can use. So teachers can create multiple choice trivia quizzes and students are able to respond to the trivia game that's posted using their own device. So you can download the app and do it on your phone or you can um, log in and play on the computer. Um, so I think Kahoot is a great way to get students engaged. It creates friendly um, competition because you are awarded points based off correct answers and um, the time that it takes you to answer the questions. Um, it can be used for various reasons. So I used it for like openers to get kids going to see what they know. I've used it for like quiz reviews and it's um has lots of options because you can create your own games um it's easily accessible and it's easy to use so Voki, this is um a site that i tried so Voki allows users to create custom avatars that say things um so that's sort of cool you can create an avatar and you can record your own voice and then the avatar will say whatever you record to it. Um, with this website, you can create presentations and, and include your Vokies in there. So it's sort of like PowerPoint slides, but you'll have that um, avatar that's to, um, using your voice and talking. Um, I like the concept. I thought it was very difficult to use and not very user friendly. As I made my presentation, it kept like just going round and round. It took so long to process. And then I didn't like the output function. It was just sort of like a PowerPoint that you clicked and you had to click on the Vokey to press play. I would have much preferred like a YouTube video kind of video setup where I just push play and then my whole presentation went through. And it could be a little expensive because you have to pay for a membership to get a lot of the functionality out of it. So Google Suite, for those of you who haven't heard of it, it's very similar to Microsoft Office. So Google Suite is basically a compilation of cloud-based softwares and products that are developed by Google. Some applications included are Google Calendar, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Keep, Sites, Forms, Classroom, Hangout, and more. So many great features. Um, what I think about Google Suite, I wish I knew about it sooner. I love the functionality. Collaboration is a big thing with Google Suite, and it's a must-have for teachers, um, mainly because of Google Classroom, which is a web-based platform that integrates um, Google Docs, Gmail, and Google Calendar right in there. I can post my assignments, grade them, it's great. And here are some references from some of the, where I pulled some of the information. I'm so Glad I took this course. I learned lots of great things and hopefully you learned something from this presentation. Thank you.